Hey all, welcome back to the channel. So a few months ago, I ordered a couple of scopes from Attaball Optics. Never heard of them, that's okay. At the time I had not either. One of my friends had uh, was shooting for him. And so this is just literally an unboxing video. I have no idea what's in this box outside of the scopes that I ordered. Why don't we just go ahead and open and take a look. Right along with me, it's gonna take a few seconds to do it. I'm gonna use my Guardian Tactical to do that. So again, while I'm opening this, I had ordered these online through one of their little sales and I'll link to the description below. Um, and they are supposedly supposed to be really nice scopes. I never touched them. My scope of choice right now is probably Vortex. That's what I have on other rifles. So packaging, get rid of that. And here we go. These are the Stealth. I bought two of them. You go on their website, you'll see why. But these are the Stealth HD 530x56 first focal plane. So if you don't know what that is, look it up. Here's the reticle on it. And this is the reason why I bought this particular scope. I wanted that delineation uh, reticle that gives you all those different options. Uh, if you know what those are, they... Uh, you might like them. Give them a shot if you don't. A couple things right on here. Lifetime warranty. If you read their warranty, it is excellent. Just like other scopes like Vortex. The downside is it's not made in Germany, Switzerland, or the U.S. It is made in China. Again, just like pretty much every other scope out there that's halfway decent at the price point. So let's open this up. The one thing I did like about this, the first focal plane, again, most people know it, it does have illuminated red reticle. Um, the other thing I do like is a return to zero. And what that does, it gives the option to set these turrets. And when you're playing with windage and elevation, it gives the opportunity to bring it right back down to ready to shoot. So in this box, let's see what we have. Again, I have no idea what it is. What's any of your little owner's manual? I believe this would be the sunshade. Exactly what it is. Look at that. Nicely wrapped. Nice, beautiful coating on that sunshade. It's even has that to kind of beat off the reflectivity. In this pocket here, we got cup caps. That's pretty nice. What else we got in here? This is a monstrosity. It is heavy. It's definitely heavier than my Vortex uh, 6 Power. Look at those turrets. Very tactile, I don't know if you can hear that. Very tactile turrets. I went with MRAD over MOA. Again, if you don't know the difference, read up on it. I would choose MRAD. Wow, that just moving this parallax is very stiff. What do we have for and it's just a infinite. So it goes from 100 to 500 infinite yards of parallax. I was hoping for a thousand yard one. I didn't really read up on that prior. That would be my personal choice would be the next scope I get. We'll have a thousand yard adjustment for the parallax. I don't have any, any batteries or anything to see what it looks like inside. But if you could feel this, this is a 34 millimeter tube. I did not think it would have that much of a difference in size and weight. This is not gonna be the scope you're gonna to wanna to carry back, uh, um, backpacking in the back country. Um, it is heavy. This is definitely for your long range shooting, laying out prone, bent shooting, whatever it may be. And screw that sunshade in. I don't even think my camera is gonna be able to back up enough to get the whole scope in. Let's give it a shot. I'm gonna screw this in and I'm gonna put stuff off the side, put this top back on. Look at that. Can't even fit the whole thing in the camera. But then again, uh, for those that were interested, this is that Attaball Stealth HD 530 by 56 first focal plane scope. Uh, it is an MRADS, but hey man, remember stay connected, stay informed. See you in the next video. I'll have this out and about. You'll be able to see some other videos. Have a good one.